Hey creatives, time to take your design skills to the next level. Every episode we discuss a few simple tricks to improve your designs. To start with number one. Do not redirect people. You worked so hard to get people to engage in your application. Why send them multiple processes for payment? This is the main disadvantage of using multiple levels of payment in your design. Since you have no control over the design of the checkout page, customers end up feeling like as they are spending more time on the payment process. Checking out and paying will be the last thing people do. That is why you want to design your application for use as convenient. So, the two changes we've made over here, we remove the multiple steps for the payment because this decreases the user engagement and we have added display payment information in a single screen and set a default option on the radio buttons to save users time. Number 2. Switches are always indicate whether a setting is on or off. When users turn a switch to on, they expect an instantaneous action as soon as there is a change in the visual cue. This cue change is what signifies on, not just for UI switches, but real world switches too. For example, when you flip a light switch on, you expect the bulb to light up in an instant. Any delayed effect or need for further action makes you think something is wrong. A checkbox does not apply the settings at an instant like a switch, instead it has a submit button and takes effect after the users press it. Requiring a button press allows users to review their settings before they commit. This requirement helps prevent accidental activation errors. So with the email settings keep the following two things. Toggle switch generally used to represent an action, not a selection alone. And the user may select any number of choices or none. Will there be another tip? Yes, the last one for this video. Do you think they are good tips so far? Let me know in the comments below. And oh yeah, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. The last thing for today, product images. Even a small mistake could ruin your design, so don't let that happen. When it comes to product images, it is important to mix colors between the background of the image and the main object in focus. Different background colors will communicate a different mood and tone to the image and the background color should be changed to match that of the subject. Maintaining a high overlap between the two images is crucially important for better image quality. It's a minor mistake, but use this tweak to improve your design. So make sure that you use a border that matches the background color to create a distinction and keep things looking clean. Overlapping images is a great way to add depth to an interface and make it look more designed. Thanks for watching this video, did you learn anything new today? Subscribe to this channel for more tips, inspiration and more. Like and share this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!